Welcome to Travel Adventures with Eric B. I'm Eric B. And today, we're going to go check out the Hyatt Grand Central here in the New York City. Let's go. Welcome to Travel Adventures with Eric B. I'm Eric B. If you're new here, I offer travel advice. I am a solo traveler and I do vlogs to help you travel better and more efficiently. Today, we're in Midtown Manhattan on Lexington in between 42nd and 43rd Street to the Hyatt Grand Central, formerly known as the Grand Hyatt, but rebranded as the Hyatt Grand Central, right near Grand Central Station. The cool thing about this hotel is it hasn't changed very much from its high standard. I was able to book an eight-hour stay on day use hotels where well, i booked eight hours really the day use model is perfect for if you got a late night flight and you need to be in that room later than say 11 o'clock a.m and it's less expensive than what you would pay for an entire 24-hour day so it works out perfect to do this as i am walking towards my room on the 16th floor. this is room 1614 i don't know if they pull aside certain rooms for this service or if they use all of the same room for all of it can't say the day use app all for many different hotels at many different hotel rooms at many different price ranges so works out really well if you're just looking for something during the course of the day and you're going to check out now i like this room and i booked this room from nine o'clock to six o'clock so which is roughly about nine hours for 150 dollars with taxes included about 150 dollars this is a room that's a lot more expensive if you choose to book it for longer but a lot of rooms to check out so we're going to start right here nice little seating area right here perfect for you to put your laptop and be able to relax a little bit you got your two cans right here one for recyclables you got your tv right here on the wall this looks to be about a 48 inch i'm guessing about a 48 not quite a 50 but looks bigger than a 42 got a stool over in the corner you got plenty of space in here so if you're going to be in here a few days so you got your dresser right here which we're going to open in just a second well right here there's a little bit of space right there on the bottom on the next row, oh, you got a mini fridge, which is always a good thing, and they don't have crap in it, so you can fill it up with your stuff, which is a good thing as well. There's some pull-out drawers right here where you can put some things, so yeah, good amount of space here, which is, which is always a plus. Let's see what else we have here. We got some art on the wall. I'm always for that. The AC unit right here set to 72. I'll probably pull it down another notch or two because I like to be nice and cool okay in your closet you got an ironing board you got a safe at the top you got a bag I'm guessing that's for an extra pillow or blanket you got an iron you got your tray table right there in case you order food or you want to put your food out later from wherever you got plenty of hangers to hang your jacket if you're coming in for work or something like that and you want to hang your jacket up for your business meeting nice bed i really like the bed right here it's um single bed but huge certainly fit two people in there two good sized people let's see what we got over here in terms of uh spaces to charge your equipment because that's always important right there on the floor right there you got some charging stations you got a plug in right there you got a yep plug in you can plug in two right there you got a lamp right here which also has a plug in um on each side really cool i like that lamp and then on the clock right here you got two usb ports and a plug and two plug-ins your alarm clock also has the snooze on it so if you're booking a room you can book it at different times as i mentioned you book it nine to six like i did you can set the snooze this is the amenities on the wall right here you could turn the lights on on one side of the room turn them off I'm not too sure about some of these other settings right here. They're a little confusing and vague, but you can do a dim. You can do a night light. You can do a lot of different things. So pretty cool room here. Uh, one of the lights is for the bed right above, too, where you can kind of dim it. I like the little area at the end of the bed, too, where you can sit here and look at the TV or sit here and, and do whatever for that matter. And the TV does flip out, so I know it's facing that way, but if you want to face it towards the bed or face it to you, if you want to sit at the edge of the bed, you can turn the TV out that way, so TV goes both ways. Let's go check out the bathroom here. I like the rug right there. It's so we're on our way. 
the lamp on that side is the same as far as the USBs and everything, so I don't need to show you that. The shower is not very big, but it's got, it does the job though. I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, let's see what we got right here. Nice size mirror. I like the light on it. Nice exterior. This is a nice room. I mean, this is a room you're going to end up paying, I checked online, on average about $300 for a full day. When you're in a city like New York, you got a lot of people catching late flights and things like that. And that's kind of what day use is all about. You know, you book it from 9 to 6. Say you get in at 7 in the morning, you want to book it. And maybe you fly out that night or something. It's perfect. Or you got nowhere to store your luggage. You can pay the money to get a nice hotel room. Relax a little while. Store your luggage while you're there. Explore. Come back. Check out. Nine hours. $150 for a nice hotel like this is not bad. My next stop is to go downstairs and check out the market. I expect that it will be a little overpriced. But we'll see what they have. stuff I would recommend going out to Walgreens or Dwayne Reed or something because it's expensive. Okay so if you're looking for a dining experience here the main dining clearly is going to be New York Central where you can get the experience. They have breakfast served here, they have lunch served here, brunch and it's pretty um, eloquent here. So if you're looking for a good eloquent dining experience, this is obviously the place you would go to. And also down in the lobby, you can see right here across the screen, they run a list of different dining options, which basically is right next door connected to it in Grand Central Station or Grand Central Terminal, whichever one you choose to call it. Of course, you can see you have Shake Shack and many other options around here. Not in the hotel, but in the terminal, at least, that's connected to the hotel. But if you're looking for something in the hotel for a nice dining experience, obviously, it would be New York Central. But there's tons and tons of options right here in the area. There's no question you have tons of dining options without going too far if you're here in the hotel. And again, I like the day use model. I think it's very well. And also the location of this hotel is definitely an A+. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I ask that you please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell notification so you can know when I have more videos coming out. And as always, remember, live today, grow today. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. Peace and travel. Lots and lots of travel.